Hi. I felt like I needed to post uh, this because there's been a lot of um, stuff going around in New Zealand about fraud, online fraud, bank fraud, card fraud, that sort of fraud. Uh, and I've had lots of text messages from various banks, even ones I don't, ha I don't even have account in. Um, I haven't really, until recent years, really had trouble with fraud, but um, a few months back, I had my credit card um, had some fraudulent activity on it. My credit card's in a different bank to my normal card, and the bank that that card is with, they allowed 10 grand of Czechoslovakian transactions to go through before they contacted me to tell me they thought it might be fraudulent, and it took me a month to get it back. Today, I had one that's really, really good. This one is a humdinger and so many people are gonna fall for this. Um, this is my regular account and it's in a different bank. Now, I'm not gonna name either of the banks. One did a bad job, one did a good job. Um, however, today, yeah, well, Wednesday. Wednesday, I got a text message that came from the normal number that my bank texts me on to tell me that, um, a new payee had been added. Now this looked like a normal text message and it came from the same number the bank texted it from. Uh, so I went online and had a look and I couldn't see any new people. Right in the middle of doing that, I had another text message that still looks very legitimate from the banks telling me that my username number name had, my password had been changed. And I thought, hello, something going on. And I called the bank. Um, and I changed my password again. I then found somebody had log registered an Oppo phone device to my bank account, so I deleted it. Um, anyway, I got hold of the bank, changed my passwords, and got uh, secured my bank account again. And the bank verified for me that the text message that looked like it had come from the bank actually had not. I didn't click a link on it. I um, didn't do anything. So I don't know how they got into my bank account. Two days later. I get a text message early this morning telling me that my credit card um, has had uh, some attempted fraudulent activity on it and could I contact the bank on the phone number that's on the back of my credit card. Now at this point I knew that something was up again and I suspected that it was the same thing uh, as last time. So I contacted the bank on the number that's on the back of my credit card. Uh, this has come from the same text message, text number as the other two that were fraudulent, by the way, just saying. And co uh, contacted the bank, finally got a hold of them to say that they had found that there'd, there was some suspicious activity that they had blocked. So none of the uh, fraudulent transactions had actually been put through at all by the bank this time. Last time with, with the other bank, 10 grand of fraudulent activity went through before they spotted it. So anyway, um, we discovered that the exact same time that I got this fraudulent text message that looked like it came from the bank, um, somebody had tried to put a transaction through on my card. So it mystifies me how they got into my bank account login. It also how they got hold of my card details because this card I do not use anywhere online because it's a debit card connected to my, card, my regular account. So, um, Yes, uh, when I spoke to the bank about this, they said this is happening an awful lot. So I normally can spot uh, fraudulent text messages. They come from things that, look, I mean, I've, I've, messaged, I've mentioned it before on my business page, messages that look like they came from banks, but actually if you look at the number, it comes from Malaysia or somewhere. Well, this one came from the same four digit number that the bank usually texts me on, and it was not the bank. Um, and honestly, I don't know how you would tell the difference. You probably wouldn't, and so many people would fall for this. So a couple of things. Um, if you suspect something weird is going on, log in through your own regular normal means, contact the bank, block cards, do everything ASAP. I have prevented someone from getting a hold of my credit card, prevented them from getting any transactions out of my account and prevented them from being able to take control of my car, my account online. And I did all of that before I contacted the bank and they've tried it twice in three days. So these people are very, very persistent and these fraudulent attempts are looking more and more uh, genuine all the time. So please, please, please just be very vigilant. That is the only thing I can say today.